there are 10 wireless mic systems, okay? Each one of these has a wireless belt pack and over ear theater um, earpiece microphone. Also, the first four have handhelds with a higher dollar capsule, and the last four have regular speaking microphones, of which nine and ten are these two right here. You can see them labeled as nine and ten. So you'll get a total of ten belt packs, you'll get eight handhelds, and the thing to remember is this. If you have one of them, that's they are labeled. We've already labeled them. If you have a wireless one belt pack, you cannot use wireless one handheld. Okay? You can use either or the handheld and the belt pack. So what do you mean by the same Right. Now if you got sophisticated enough. That's the previous range. Yeah, it is. So we should be good with the new that's the same right. New belt. Alright. This here is your nemesis switcher. <coughs> it is an old fashioned manual. Here's the thing that I want you to remember. Uh, this system is set up to where whenever you decide where that big mixer goes, this is the thing that uh, let adjusts so you can move that mixer around. That mixer can be located on three places on the stage, the apron right in front of the stage, and at the back where you will run your front of house mix for, for real production. Okay. But when you get ready to move that mixer, right now it says it's hooked into the apron. That's the front of the stage. If you don't move it to the gym floor, I'm going to take this out and replug it to the gym. Now, we have a second set of, of connections for the mixer. These are not used. But I, I decided to keep them because in case the wire fails, we don't have to replace it. So if the connection should, I don't anticipate it, but if the connection should come, uh, go bad, you have spare daily connections going that we can actually use. But all you have to do is hook up one wire that goes to the stage box input, and then it's taken and connected as you move the mixer from any of these locations. All right? So we'll patch let, it here. Let me ask you something. Did we accidentally hook it up on this one? Is it still going to work? If you hook, it, hook the mixer, then yeah. you're secondary. So if, if, if we accidentally instead of putting it on the primary, we put it on this one by mistake, it would still work? It'll, no. You will have to take and plug it into the apron secondary. Oh, okay. There's a second jet. Okay. The primary and secondary. Are they labeled? And we'll look at, yeah. Yes. They are labeled. Tie lines. These are tie lines that go to your boxes out there. All a tie line is is a mic cord, a spare mic cord. So that if you have any reason, you've got something set up over there, some other device, some other feed going to somewhere, and you need a connection, you can jump it from here back and forth into different parts of your mixer if you should want. You may or may not use that. What would be the benefit of using that? All it is is a mic cord. You see them used quite a bit, and you never can tell when some kind of broadcast might come in here and need a tie line. It's so, it's so you can hook up, it's so you can hook up other equipment out there without laying a cord across the floor. All it is is a spare cord. It's pre-built in, and that's what you use it for if you should ever need them. It's just the convenience. All right, this is where all your all your microphones and stuff like that coming from the floor and wireless is plugged in. And these are the network devices that through this one wire talk to the big mixer. Okay? This is your power series. Never touch these. I have a door for this too. Yeah. It came without the hinges. I have to get the hinges. You'll see the door right there. Yeah, it sounds all right. <laughs> well, you know, anymore you just can't guarantee anything. No. Work at 100%. Alright, so I told you, you saw the thing that I told you was going off and on in sequence. This is the sequence. 
it's going to stay on all the time. If you shut this off, that thing won't make it. Nothing will come up and down. So that button always has to stay on. This is redundant to that switch out there if you ever have a problem. This system up and down does the same thing that that switch over there turning the system on and off does. It's done here. This is your digital processor that works to EQ the system, set the limits to protect everything, and all the stuff that we set up today, 90% of it was setting up the equalizers, limiters, and everything in here. It's now locked out, nobody can touch it, okay? Those are your amplifiers down there. Um, remember, uh, I always try, this is gonna go away. I always tell people what to do when it doesn't work. Look to be sure somebody didn't turn it off. They got off on switches everywhere. Okay, I think that shows you this room.